Jezebel, based upon the play by Owen Davis Jr., was produced by Warner Brothers in 1938. It's the story of Julie, a strong, staunch, young woman living in steamy, swampy 1852 Louisiana. Julie's hard-boiled with the same attitude of stubborn determination that would inflame the war between the states. She's from the South, but not from the gentry state of Georgia. No, she's upper class from the bayou, where domesticated tradition collided with the Wild West, French colonialism, and the pressures on a woman to land herself a husband who is healthy and wealthy. Julie seems to have both those attributes covered in the tall drink of water that is Press Dillard. But her spirit of control and her independent ideas run contrary to what's expected of a woman in 19th century America. When Julie elicits scandal at the Olympus Ball, the social event of the season, well, Press defends her honor, but, but he has had enough. He moves to that foreign country up north, New York, but with loyal Southern blood teeming through his veins, he eventually returns, but he is not alone. The comparisons to Gone with the Wind are unavoidable. The film was made during the Margaret Mitchell mayhem that was flaming across America's bookstores. Some say Davis was awarded the role for Jezebel for not even being considered for Scarlet. Whatever the backstory, it's evident she put in her work. No one could have played Jezebel better. And at that year's ceremony, the Academy agreed. They awarded her her second of two career Oscars for her layered portrayal of the young woman who wanted whatever she could get, no matter who or what got in her way. Weiler had a penchant for take after take after take, and this frustrated Fonda. But Davis admired Weiler immensely, saying that in him she had finally found her equal in creativity and talent. The two had an affair. What lady couldn't resist Weiler's expert eye? From the, the nuance of attitude on Davis's face to the sweat on everyone's brow, not a detail was left to the imagination. Throughout the film, Wilder shows us the everyday indignity that the slaves suffered. Heck, a, a hidden hero of the film is the slave who guides Julie like an archangel through the infested swamp to her retribution. Slavery's, slavery's righteous indignation would reach its equal nine years later. It would be America's bloodiest and most brutal war. Jezebel is the roller coaster ride of one woman against northern attitude, malaria, dangerous traditions, and the challenges of living in a very difficult, if not just an extremely uncomfortable time. With fever cannons booming against Yellow Jack and smudge pots burning to ward off sickness, through Wilder's magic touch, we know that it won't be long until the real gunfire of war and flames of destruction tear apart our country and put an end to Julie's cloistered world. Betty Davis's Jezebel is a woman of the South. And like the Confederacy, she's not going down without a fight. TCM presents Jezebel in this marvelous movie palace. Sit back, relax, and watch the stars shine in this masterpiece. I'm Tom Gregory. Thank you.